One of the innovative features of the Crew Dragon astronauts enjoyed during the Demo 2 flight test to the International Space Station was the movie star look of SpaceX's new spacesuits. Elon Musk offered SpaceX's services to help NASA make its next generation spacesuits. Musk's company has designed and manufactured flight suits for astronauts who travel into space aboard SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft. The flight suits are primarily aimed to safeguard the astronauts in the event of a fire or if the cabin depressurizes, given the need to survive outside of a spacecraft in the harsh environments of space. Developing spacesuits would be a more complex and challenging effort. Today we are going to talk about SpaceX's fancy and pricey suits. But first, if you are new here, we warmly welcome you to our YouTube channel. We post daily updates from the world of space. Have you wondered? The spacesuits worn by astronauts for the Crew Dragon mission have been getting a lot of attention. How do they differ from other astronaut attire over the years? What exactly are those features that make these spacesuits so pricey? Starting off, the futuristic flight suits worn by Doug Hurley and Bob Behnken during Saturday's successful launch appear to be a far cry from the bulky orange shuttle flight suits worn by astronauts the last time they launched from Kennedy Space Center. The helmets and gloves are 3D printed and the gloves are touchscreen enabled. However, their primary function remains the same, to protect crew members from loss of pressure, which occurs when air is lost from the capsule. The suits also ensure that astronauts have enough oxygen and regulate their body temperature. A single umbilical cable in the seat that plugs into the suit provides a communications link as well as breathable air. The Starman suits, as they've been termed, are made entirely of one piece and are tailored to the astronaut. However, they are only intended for use inside the SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule and are not suitable for use on spacewalks. The Boeing Blue suits are approximately 40% lighter and more flexible than previous generations of spacesuits worn by American astronauts. They have various internal layers to keep astronauts cool. The suit also includes touchscreen sensitive gloves, allowing astronauts to work with tablets in space. The soft hood-like helmet has a wide polycarbonate visor to provide Starliner passengers with better peripheral vision as they travel to and from space. Zips in the torso will make it easier for astronauts to transition from sitting to standing position. The SpaceX spacesuits were custom made for the astronauts and were thus extensively used during Demo 2 mission training. Hurley added that because the spacesuits were tailored to the astronauts' individual body types, they were actually much easier to get in and out of in zero gravity or weightlessness than the pumpkin suits, also known as the Advanced Crew Escape Suit ACES. The ACES and SpaceX spacesuits are not intended for spacewalks, but rather for backup during launches and landings. The launch and entry suits that astronauts wear at the beginning and end of their missions are incomplete versions of the human-shaped spacecraft that explorers use outside of the spacecraft in open space. These suits protect the astronauts during the most dangerous parts of the mission, such as when they travel through the Earth's atmosphere, but they are not self-contained. In the event that the capsule's primary life support systems fail, the suits rely on the spacecraft's life support and communication system to protect life. Traditionally, these suits have been adaptations of pilots' high-altitude suits, which serve essentially the same purpose. Elon Musk has re-choreographed the line between fantasy and reality in his own style, transforming what was once fantasy into a new reality. This is demonstrated by the Dragon Suits. Elon Musk commissioned Hollywood costume designer Jose Fernandez to create a spacesuit for his company in 2016. Fernandez is best known for designing superhero costumes for films such as Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice. Musk wants his suits, as well as his capsules and launch vehicles, to look like they had never been seen before. Costume designers, on the other hand, really aren't spacesuit engineers. The next task for SpaceX was to convert Fernandez's costumes into actual functional spacesuits. He gave the design to spacesuit engineers who are currently working in the field to make it usable. We don't know who was involved or how this was accomplished. The work, like much of company's operations, was kept a secret and protected by confidentiality and non-disclosure agreements. However, we do know that the final product retained some aesthetic design elements from the original in that effort to retrofit a Hollywood costume into a spacesuit. When Musk launched SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket in 2018, he revealed the first hints of what stayed and changed in the prototype. 
A mannequin dressed in a spacesuit sat in the driver's seat of the car, in a dramatic departure from the black design. The suit was almost entirely white. One of the modifications that the spacesuit engineers must have made was to switch from the heat-absorbing all-black outfit to an all-white outfit that would reflect the bright sunlight. It is early to speculate on the suit's inner workings beyond the cover layer. To date, only a few people have had the opportunity to fully investigate the inner workings of these new launch and entry suits. As SpaceX's operations expand, more information will become available. We all have a number of questions in our mind that we would like to have answered. What materials are employed? How is the suit's ventilation distributed? How do the astronauts communicate with one another? What is the suit's connection to the dragon? And lastly, how are these costumes safe? Well, starting with materials, numerous raw materials are used for the construction of a spacesuit. Fabric materials include a variety of different synthetic polymers. The innermost layer is made up of a nylon tricot material. Another layer is composed of spandex, an elastic wearable polymer. As far as ventilation is concerned, the main function of the ventilation subsystem in the spacesuit is to remove the CO2 and provide the transport of the breathing gas to the crew member. Astronauts use oxygen tanks attached to their spacesuits to breathe normally. It provides clean oxygen to astronauts while removing carbon dioxide. Because there is no air in space, astronauts wear spacesuits that are filled with air to build pressure and support them. This is why it appears puffy. And the most interesting question, how do the astronauts communicate with one another? Spacesuits use safety cords to keep astronauts connected to the space station. The spacesuits are equipped with a rocket-powered backpack that enables them to fly and move around in space. It has headphones and speakers to allow astronauts to communicate with their co-workers on the space station. Lastly, astronauts conduct a variety of experiments in space to better understand how things behave in space. They can repair satellites and test new devices, among other things. When they leave the space station, they are kept safe by spacesuits. SpaceX is developing new spacesuits, but there are cost-cutting measures in place. According to Quartz, one spacesuit will cost between 1 to 2 million US dollars. The staggering amount of money required to build one spacesuit may cause missions to be postponed as the company struggles with funding. Spacesuits are so expensive because they are more than just clothing for astronauts. According to Space Australia, each spacesuit functions as a personal spacecraft, providing oxygen and basic needs to an astronaut. Spacesuits are also made of multiple layers to provide protection in a variety of conditions. With this, we have reached the end of today's video. Let us know your thoughts on these spacesuits and whether or not the cost is justified. We are happy to hear from you as well. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel to never miss out on any of the updates from the world of space. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.